Greetings everyone from Kit Kat and me if you come <laughs> he's just about to run away. <laughs> yeah, you know already now, I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> so yes, another day. The second day of this piece. Um yes, and before I start, um had a couple of queries about about this particular um breed of cattle. Um and uh, there's a book on it. <laughs> there's a book on it, coffee table book. It's called The Abundant Herds um, by Marguerite Poland. Um, and it basically sets out to, to uh, tell you all about the, the Nguni cattle. Um, celebration of the Nguni cattle of the Zulu people. So yes, um, and basically it, it establishes all of the different uh, all the history and the culture of it and, and then get, starts getting into all the different kinds of markings and I don't know if you can see actually but I'm not holding this properly um, all the different markings and, and, and many of them many of them are um, the markings are referred to birds um, in terms of the colors and the speckles and the what have you so very 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 fascinating um some of them snakes some of them lizards um yeah so fabulously um illustrated here as well um this was the uh this is the one i was talking about yesterday with the with the royal the royal herds uh yeah and then it gets into more specifics and so on and so forth shapes of horns different color combinations it's it's as i said absolutely fascinating anyway i'm not going to dwell on that because i'm not about not about uh doing a book review <laughs> right so let me get back into it so as we go and then start to establish what particular what particular markings these these cattle have. Um, it's safe to say that they are a, a very uh, well respected. cherished animal um, as I as I made mention of yesterday uh, for the most part they're not they're not used for slaughter um, they were occasionally used for uh, um, tapping off some blood to, to use in their and again, we use the sustenance sometimes, but never, virtually never slaughtered um, for meat. Not that the Zulu people didn't eat meat. Uh, but they preferred perhaps uh, wild game, etc. But the herds were their, the herds are their, uh, their bullion, excuse the pun. Um, the herds are their wealth. Even until today, so... Uh, for those who don't know, um, there's this expression called lobola, which, which is basically the, uh, what do you call it, um, a dowry um, that a bride will, a bride's family, no, sorry, that the that the groom will have to pay 
for his prospective wife. So he has to pay in, in he pays in cattle. So depending on how valuable <laughs> his wife is, his wife to be is, uh, he has to pay a certain number of cattle. And that still happens today. And even if it's just a nod, you know, sometimes it'll your wife might cost you five or, five or ten head of cattle. <laughs> That's not cheap either. And the herdsmen, and sometimes there were thousands of head of cattle. Um, and the herdsmen would know each and every animal by name. Not just their by their not just their markings, but in terms of the, 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 the general um, um, classification by markings. But their actual names. Some of the very, very well respected these animals. Um, as they should be, as all animals should be, in my, in my candid opinion. Yeah, I do believe this book is out of print. Um, maybe out of, it's more than likely out of print now. I think that there were only uh, two or maybe three editions that were printed. Um, I forget when this was. Was this done? 95? Uh, yeah, this, uh, sorry, this, this, this particular edition was 2005, the first printed in 2003. Um, so, yes, um, just in case anyone's looking to pick up a copy, you might, you might even find it on Amazon. Um, if you have used copies, etc. But absolutely fascinating um, book. so beautifully depicted in the uh, in the illustrations and paintings that have been used to capture these animals in their environment etc and of course the uh, the breeding 
the breeding bulls were I mean they they can be incredibly expensive if you were to purchase now <laughs> not that you're all going to be running out to buy a herd of nguni <laughs> So yes, by and large, very docile animals, as cattle can be. Um, not particularly massive. I mean, they're not like the, uh, what do you call those big brown ones? Uh, <laughs> uh, I forget now. Uh, free, free. free. Friesland? No, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, you get some really monstrous uh, cattle that, that that are bred for their for their for their beef, etc. But they're big enough, let me tell you. <laughs> and they are intimidating enough, especially when you're sitting on the when you're sitting down on the ground and they come over you uh, with this massive spread of horns. Um, um, I would suggest that th this particular pair of horns is uh, Perhaps a little bit wider than what they are here, so you know I could probably hold them like that. Um, <laughs> so each horn is that long, um, and and they can be very deft with them. And they know exactly where they are. They know exactly how sharp they are and how to use them. Um, if needs be. And certainly know how to protect themselves and their young. Um, uh, when I went, uh, the last time that I went, last year I think it was, to do the, to do a, to do a shoot for for some in Guinea cattle. And this is not from that particular ship, this is from the year before. Um, and uh, the chap who owned this herd of cattle um, was an egg farmer. Anyway, that's besides the point. But uh, so he had this he had this herd just just because he liked it wasn't his business, but he but uh, uh, he liked and appreciated it in Goonie cattle. So uh, he had this herd and uh, I was I was taking uh, taking some pics and um, one of them got a little bit grumpy about the, the fact that I was getting too near uh, one of the calves and uh, 
yeah, got a little bit stroppy with me. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, other than that, you just move away or you stop. You just sit down and do whatever. Right? Uh, <clears throat> In scenarios like the running of the bulls, for example, in uh, Pamplona or wherever it is, um, those bulls are are panicked, are are petrified. It's just evil, uh, you know. It's it's an evil practice. I I, I don't care what any, you know all these all these people that should know better. Um, having fun at the expense of these wonderful creatures. Um, yeah, it's nothing short of evil. No more, no less. Uh, traumatizing these animals for the sake of for the sake of entertainment is just not on. Not in this day and age. Well, not ever, but, but uh, I think that uh, the time of circuses and zoos and, I don't know, you know where wildlife is used for entertainment purposes for display it's, zoos are no longer really that they're not used for research you don't need them you really don't need them but now that they're there in, in many cases the animals that are there and don't know any other way of living so can't just put them back into into the wild. Sadly, anywho. Okay, I'm going to now. I'm going to now get me some sky. I think. I think, I think, and we shall start with, uh, we shall start with a, put this down over there, take the clamps off, and perhaps put them lower down, like, <laughs> like here, uh, actually no, we'll just leave them off for the time being. And there. Right. Right, right, peoples. Let me begin. Let me be ninging. Let me be be ninging. get to the edge of the page.
down to a little, little nib, just like that. Oh yes, incidentally, uh, yesterday I did post a, uh, I, I made a post on Facebook um, regarding my Prince catalogue, so um, I have in excess of 80, 80 uh, of my artworks that are available for prints um, so I've got a PDF catalog and forgive me I don't have a website as yet so, you know, it's kind of, it's, <laughs> it's kind of in the making eventually so uh, um, I have a PDF file of all the works that I've selected for for prints um, and you're welcome to uh, if you'd like to receive a copy, um, so I've got the prints, the various size um, applications, etc., etc., <clears throat> available. Um, I can, uh, you, if you can just drop me your email address in the comments, and I will send it to you forthwith. I didn't realize that I had so many pieces to be honest with you I a lot more than 80 than 80 odd but it's just the ones that I it's just the ones that I can that I can print off um, and of course I always welcome commissions I can do large scale prints um, yeah, I've, I've basically, the, the, the catalogue um, is from basic, essentially A3 up to A1. That's the basic, that, those are the basic print sizes. Uh, then there's combos, which can be uh, A5, A4, A3, um, combination of four pieces or whatever you want and you know it's just uh, if you are interested in, in purchasing some some prints by all means let me know or even of the originals so and I still have many of the originals so yeah feel free to to uh, hit me with a with a message or email whatever it might be uh, and I'll be happy to assist and remember I also do you know, I'm, doing a, I'm doing an advertising splurb yeah um, so I also do portraits pet portraits whatever it might be human portraits
actually anything. I, I, you know, I honestly enjoy a challenge. So, I mean, this is why you'll see that my, my, my work has become quite varied in its subject matter. Um, and yeah, I'll tackle almost, I'll tackle anything, literally anything. I don't, it's, uh, Let me conserve my blue there for a bit, um, and I do want to introduce a little bit of this wonderful mauve to the sky, if I can just pick it out. And then I'll mix them in. Right, now it's blendy blendy. Blend it like blackum. Uh, and let's put in a little bit of white down the bottom here. Yeah, so uh, I'll share with you what I really would like to do <laughs> is to be is to be commissioned by a by a corporate, for example, to uh, to come to to put together a a series of works. Um, depicting whatever it is that they would desire. Um, whether it, you know, for example, um, I do know, I do know a, a law firm, a local law, law firm that, that, that loves these cattle. Um, anyway, I think that they're probably a bit, a bit saturated by now with, with, with I must actually, I must actually just send them some stuff. Who knows? But yes, um, so so an organisation that, that that wants to have a, a display of original work or or posters, for example. But I mean, you know, if it's if it's going to be very unique, then it then it should be specific to the to the organisation. Um, to have in their boardroom, foyer, wherever. 
that would be my ideal so I can work on a series of pieces um, that are bespoke so now that you know All you minions and bots, if you're listening. Aside from that, uh, family portraits, that by and large that's fine for the time being I can always enhance or do that at some later stage but for now that will do that will do right somewhat African sky blue. I might add a little, little bit more of another blue at some later stage, but for now that this is all I really need.
yeah um so as i was saying yesterday i'm not quite sure why these bulls were and these young bulls were all together in a herd of their own so all males um yeah I don't know, maybe they're breeding bulls or something like that. I don't know. No, they're too young to be. I don't think your breeding bulls will, be, will, will definitely be uh, kept separate because they can be very, very uh, territorial. So, of course, the owner would not want these these bulls fighting and injuring themselves. And obviously, far too valuable for that. I'm just I'm just working on this piece um, as I said all over the you know, it's wherever I need to go at the, in the moment um, and I'll come back to it later and so on and so forth but so I'm just working the white I'm working with both uh, Conte and Pastel. Um, the Conte, more so where the uh, body, the body is in shadow, um, and then with the with the Pastel, with the white Pastel, where it's in where it's in ca catching the light for for more highlights and I'll, I'll of course alternate and what have you but by and large and this this chappie's face is quite well flecked with black especially around towards the side of his body. I did do another piece um, that was portrait um, in orientation uh, that featured the same chappie. Um, 
but from a from a different from a different angle, different perspective. Um, so we are acquainted, of course, artistically speaking. And I'm also following the, in terms of the, the patterns, I'm following the, the grain, so to speak, um, in terms of the direction of the, 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 that his coat follows, um, as well as the shape of the, the musculature, etc., and, and the skull. So... Uh, Yes, um, as I was saying about these markings, so every every one of these cattle um, has its own unique um, has its own unique markings, much like a fingerprint actually or a palm print. Um, these these cattle can be recognised. So yeah, that's why I said this. But the uh, the, the the better known cattle amongst the herd, in other words, the, the prize bulls, etc., um, are known very much by their own by their specific names, etc. I'll delve into that as I go, of course. I still need to establish 
these particular characters in terms of their their general markings um, and I shall communicate that to you over the next day or two Yeah, so I'm not going for photorealism. Um, this is still very much a graphic piece, so so uh, I'm not uh, I'm not trying to, to to put in every single hair and every single mark that there is. Um, some will some. Some of what you see will still be open to up to your interpretation. Um. Just see this fella's hump over the top of his head. Goodness, time has flown today, rather. We've only got seven or eight minutes left. really flown today. And this chappy is the very slightest brown tint to uh, to him in places. Just the odd touch here and there. So I will, and, and, and on the horns a little bit as well. So I will endeavour to capture that as well. He's not, so it's not just black and white markings. Uh, these two, however, are very much purely black and white. There's no brown in them at all. Yeah. See what I say about the different the different marking markings. That's why I, when I check them out, I'll need to see. Be very careful in terms of <laughs> seeing which is which. Yeah. I'm certainly not proficient enough to be able to tell exactly and, and with, with, with accuracy, but uh, this book of mine does give me a very good representation of the different markings, etc. So, 
hopefully I shall be able to make a a discerning a discerned choice. This character is, uh, he has some white, he has some very dark brown, um, and then some, some lighter reddish brown on his back, etc. So yeah, we'll tackle that as well. I have completely neglected this chappie down here today. Let's give him a go. Let's give him a little bit of attention. Only for two minutes or so. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit Chinese, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he identifies as, but again, at this point, Okay, he's not looking Chinese anymore. In terms of a caricature, he did look a little bit Chinese at a point, but So he needs some more, significantly more work, of course. Yeah, so you have to kind of work with the 
with the haunches, etc. Yeah, I think I think we can call it quits for today. Quite safely. Let's see. Oh, that's coming in quite nicely as a composition. I do declare. So. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to give it a. Give it a break now. Um, until tomorrow, and continue then. So. Uh, Quite happy with today's progress, and as always, the, the little introduction of color, especially in the sky, just starts to pull it all together, doesn't it? Um, so tomorrow I shall start adding a little bit more browns and reds and perhaps yellows and and so on in, in the in the grass grassy areas. Um, but by and large, it's coming together very well. So anyway, thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring. Thank you for. Your comments, etc. As always, I do, I do most definitely appreciate those. It gives me, it gives me great perspective. So yes, thank you. Um, so do tune in again tomorrow. As I said, if you would like to receive my uh, uh, catalog of prints uh, available, do drop me a little message in the in in my in my uh, in the comments and. Uh, with your email address and I'll send it to you. So, yes. Okay, be good. Take care. Oodles and oodles of toodles. <laughs> Gosh, gotta remember all these things to say. I don't know why, but anyway. <laughs> but take care, people. Have a fantastic day ahead and uh, take care. Bye. You always doodle. <laughs>